Now I felt like I was too old to watch this movie almost 8 years ago in 2016. I have to be honest it was a great year a lot of good movies came out that year and like then again on the negative side there were some of the worst movies that was released in 2016 it went both ways. But Strange was similar to the Avengers actually in my opinion better as this movie really only focuses on a man and his journey of not really wanting to be a hero and saving the world director. Scott Derrickson writers. John Spetz, Scott Derrickson Runtime, 115 men main cast, Benedict Cumberbatch as Dr. Stephen Strange Kawitel Geoffrey's Mortar Rachel McAdams as Christine Palmer Benedict Wong as Wong Max McKelson as Cassilis Totus Winton as The Ancient One Review, by McCorsey I went into this movie thinking it would either be a fantastic stepping stone or a horrible one off film that was entirely avoidable. Plot twist, it was both. And neither this movie was both a stepping stone and a bit of a one off. Thankfully, it was not horrible, but, sadly, no one will call it fantastic, either. I wanted an into a part of the story Marvel hadn't told us yet. Mutants are cool. So are enhanced individuals. And we all love aliens. But what about the supernatural right here on Earth? What does that look like? Well, we have our answer. Marvel drops us into the life of one Dr. Stephen Strange. Brilliant neurosurgeon, arrogant, quite well off and part-time playboy, part-time fuckbuddy. After his come to Jesus moment, his now irrevocably altered life track sets him on a path through his own self-aggrandizing ego and into a world much larger and way less centered around our main character. Familiar faces swirl around Benedict Cumberbatch filling in tracks oft used and rarely omitted from stories such as these. Estranged ex-lovers who care only to be pushed away. Sage elders with advice not heeded until real life consequences are realized. A smattering of contemporaries and compatriots to both aid and hinder our hero. But all of this serves only to highlight the transformation the good doctor undergoes. What I liked, I liked that this movie showed me Marvel's understanding how to do superhero movies. The trick, apparently, is to make a genre film that just so happens to star a comic book character. Stephen Strange is a man we all know. He might even be us, in some ways. But the message here is very real audible. Get your head out of your ass, Stephen, and go be a better person. For everyone sucka. Especially yours. And it's a good message. Who among us has not heard one similar? Exactly. This movie managed to cement its place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe while not pulling the larger story off track. It allowed the viewer to be completely immersed in the plot without having to carefully and painstakingly consider the intricate, multi-layered plot we've been enveloped in by the MCU. This movie, when considered in the larger context, has very easy to follow plot points and clear, albeit a tad heavy-handed, links back to the epic saga unfurling one blockbuster at a time. What I didn't like, I'm sure the fact that I haven't slightest idea as to how much time passed from act to act or even scene to scene isn't keeping with the overall theme of the movie, but it slightly ground the teeth of gears. Along the same vein, the big bad, while seeming big enough and fabled to be bad enough, came across as a tool or plot device more than an actual threat to derail the storyline. Our antagonist kind of just likely antagonized. On a scale of 1 to the devil, I'd rank this one at a solid Mel Gibson. Loud. Large. Fun to see and interesting to listen to because you never know what's going to come out of their mouth, but largely harmless. Lastly, the choice for the ancient one. I fully understand the geopolitical implications of attempting to cast a character who is supposed to be Tibetan, yet still make an international movie with expected success in multiple major markets. If you don't read here, Marvel was in a bit of a box. Perhaps I'm holding on to past characters, but when I see Tota Swinton, I see her playing yet another role where a male was expected, the angel Gabriel and Constantine. And we need not revisit that smoldering dumpster fire of an event that was to understand it. But perhaps I'm not. I didn't see any of the operative serenity in Kiwetal Jeffer. I saw nothing of Khan, Star Trek, Into Darkness, or Sherlock Holmes, yeah Sherlock Holmes. The TV show, in Benedict Cumberbatch. But I couldn't shape Totus Winton as a duplicitous angel. Sue me.